How is it going, everybody? Happy holidays, and thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Looking at day 14 of the Brewers Advent Calendar 2019 edition over here. Been loving it so far. Some great beers. Yesterday's was amazing. Great day, or dark lager. Um, yeah, so I figured review this guy right here. Uh, some more German beer, of course. Uh, yeah, day 14 is uh, Alp, Alpenkonig's Gold Marzen. Marzen? Whatever. Marzen. There we go. Um, yeah, it's a uh, Marzen coming in at 4.2% alcohol by volume. Wait, what? 4.2 al alcohol by weight, 5.3% alcohol by volume. There we go. Um, that's a weird... I've never heard of that be before. Alcohol by weight. Um, I don't know what's up with that. But it's brewed by Privet Brauery H. Egerer out in Grosskolnbach, Grosskolnbach, Germany. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Liking the labeling. Just glued on there by the looks of it. Pretty cool stuff. Probably a small brewery, I'm guessing. Uh, the rest of them have been like etched on or whatever, and this just has the wrapping on it. Pretty cool stuff. But uh, yeah, let's get it cracked, poured, see how it is. Always nice, like a nice Marzen. So um, yeah, excited for this one. Oh, and that color right there. That's looking great. I'm liking that. Beautiful. Straight up like golden kind of color. Pretty much crystal clear. There's a little bit of haze to it, but not a lot at all. Finger-ish of a off-white head verging on like maybe a hint of like beige in there. A really compact bubbles, frothy. Uh, just a really, really nice looking beer. Yeah, I mean, that looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I cannot wait to try this already. Um, <laughs> granted, I love beer, so there we go. Aroma? Yeah, smells like a Marzen. I mean, you get that lager aroma, the typical bready kind of uh, malts in it, a little bit of like an apricot -y kind of fruitiness, and uh, yeah. A little bit of, yeah, like a yeasty kind of thing, uh, bready kind of thing going on. A little bit of, like, some herbal notes. Um, I would say almost like a slight cinnamon kind of thing. Um, a little bit of, yeah, like a cinnamon, that kind of thing going on in there. Um, nice, like, biscuity kind of, like... Uh, honey kind of notes in this beer it smells awesome um yeah you get a little bit of like a darker malt kind of profile but a, like a slight toffee something like that some sort of caramelized sugar something like that going on but it smells awesome so let's give it a taste cheers That's really good. I should probably have this can right up front there. But uh, yeah, uh, nice Marsan. Not the best I've had, but really solid. Um, apricot, bit of maybe a hint of brown sugar in there. Um, some caramel, like toffee kind of notes, but uh, yeah, just awesome. Super easy drinking, light in body, but still has like this heftiness to it. Um, it's a really filling kind of beer. Not that it's heavy at all, but there's just this, I don't know, like this, how, how, how do you say it? I don't know, like there's this oomph to it. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, there's that 
great like slightly fruity like apricot I want to say maybe like a uh, slight raisin kind of thing going on um, yeah some dried fruit bready nice bready malty thing going on some biscuity notes some like uh, I want to say like graham crackers that kind of thing like that honey kind of weedy kind of thing um, really good I don't know if this is brewed with anything else other than barley and hops. Um, yeah, just barley and hops. But it's got like a, uh, yeah, really like Graham wafer square kind of thing going on, in my opinion. Um, just really good, really good beer. As for a rating on this guy, really tasty really easy drinking but there's still some I don't know some sippability to it if that makes sense it's a beer you just want to taste over like a meal it'd be actually a great Christmas beer um, just having like Christmas dinner with this guy um, just drinking it throughout the night really good stuff uh, really good food pairing beer I go like uh, I'd say 86 on this guy Awesome stuff. Alpenkonig Gold Marzen. Really nice beer. Once again, I'm just loving these German beers. I've been drinking so much like American style beers, hoppy beers, um, stouts, stuff like that. Like big dessert stouts. And it kind of defeats the purpose of beer, you know. Starting to like uh, just beers that taste like beer now due to this calendar. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. So, um, yeah, just reigniting my love for simple German kind of like Belgian kind of things, you know. Really digging it. So, there we go. I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think of this beer, if you've had it or any of these guys' other beers. And until the next time, cheers, everybody.